from the Zane Scholars Arena. It's time for the Inter-University Battle of Brains. This is the 2009 Zane Africa Challenge. And now, here's the man with the question, Walimu John Sibiot Kumu. Hello and welcome to the Zane Africa Challenge 2009, Africa's International Inter-University Question and Answer Championship. This year, 32 teams have earned the right to compete through their national qualifying tournaments. They'll be answering questions on current affairs, science, sports, literature, history, geography, pop culture and indeed more besides. This season, we welcome teams from West Africa. So our players have come from Ghana, Kenya, Malawi, Nigeria, Sierra Leone, Tanzania, Uganda, and Zambia. That makes eight. They're taking part in a 31-game knockout tournament. That is win and stay, lose and leave, but never empty-handed. Time now for the introductions. In this round one game, entering from my right is the Zane Scholars team from the Catholic University of Eastern Africa, Kenya. Julius Mungai, second year, law student from Kikuyu. Piran Jati, first year law, Nairobi. Mohamed Boru, a third year social science student from Nairobi. And from my left, it's the Zane Scholars team from Northrise University, Zambia. Godfrey Chande, third year, Information Technology, Dola. Kenyan Tamubanga, second year, Information Technology, Dola. Nyamachai Chipawa, second year, Information Technology, Indola. A very warm welcome to both our teams. This year, you and your universities will share over one million US dollars in individual, institutional and travel grants. The outright winners will take away the prestigious Zane Scholars Trophy, plus 5,000 US dollars each, plus 50,000 US dollars for their university, all courtesy of Zane. <laughs> and if you're watching at home, we won't leave you out of the action because you too can play and win the Zane game. A review of the rules. There'll be three rounds of face-off and bonus questions, followed by the final 60-second speed round that is the ultimate challenge. Each of you will take up the center position to answer face-off questions on your own without conferring. If you answer a face-off correctly for 10 points, your whole team can help you to answer the bonus question for 20 points. First, in center position for Northrise University Zambia is Godfrey. Shiny Godfrey. Bueno. Bueno. I'm fine. That's good. I want to know a bit more about Zambian traditions today. Yes, among the most celebrated tra traditions in Zambia is the dance of the Lunda chief, where he dances and he has a really long garment and he holds an axe in his hand. The funny thing about this dance is he has somebody holding his garment behind. He is not supposed to come within the line of sight. When he does, he gets punished. What you didn't mention is what he does with his axe. Well, he just swings it around. <laughs> Julius, from the Catholic University of Eastern Africa, I know that I am talking to Mr. Catholic University of Eastern Africa. Yes. To explain. Uh, contrary to, you know, believe that to be a Mr. something, you have to be all buffed up and stuff. Sorry to disappoint you, but uh, <laughs> prior to me being, you know, crowned as Mr. I thought it was, you know, the celebrity life for me, but I was proved wrong because it has very many responsibilities, many of which, uh, yeah, I do handle with much care. Ah, lots yeah. of hard work. Yes. Sir. I hope it's not going to be hard work choosing a category. Hope not. <laughs> Let's have a look at our first four categories, and they are advances in gender equality, African literature, chemistry, football in the UK. What's it to be, Julius? Give me football in the UK. It is. Which tournament won by 42 different clubs since 1872 saw Portsmouth taking top honours in 2008? Catholic University. The FA Cup. Is correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. Which Nigerian, a Heart Foundation founder, scored Portsmouth's only goal? Mkwano Kanu. That is correct. Two, which Welsh club were 2008's other finalists? Cardiff. 
That is correct. For 20 points, bringing your total to 30. Julia's choice of category. Game please. football in the UK. It is. At Bolton in 2003, fans said he was so good they named him twice. Who is this Nigerian with a double nickname? Catholic University. JJ Okocha. That is correct. For 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. One. Okocha played for the Tigers of which Premier League team? Hull City. That is correct. Two, in 1996, Okocha helped which Turkish team defeat Manchester United? Galatasaray. No, the correct answer is Fenerbahce. <laughs> Julius, choice of category, please. Football in the UK. It is. The second tier of English football, the Football League Championship, was won in 2008 by which team abbreviated WBA? <laughs> Catholic University. West Bromwich Albion. That is correct, for 20 bonus points. Which two teams, the Rams and the Royals from the English Premier League, were relegated to the championship for 2008? Derby, County yes. and Sheffield United. Only Derby is correct for 10 points. The other is Reading. Julia's choice of category, please. Uh, chemistry. Chemistry it is. Which L word names the sugar which occurs primarily in the milk of mammals? North Rice. Lactose. That is correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. Lactose becomes which acid when milk ferments or sours? Um, cheese. Lactic. Two, what is the biochemical name for the most common of sugars? Sucrose. Uh, sucrose. It's correct for 10 points, bringing your total to 20 against Catholic University 70. God, free choice of category, please. Chemistry. It is. Nitrous oxide, an anesthetic that causes giddiness, is also called what gas? Catholic University. Laughing gas. It's correct for 20 bonus points. Which illegal addictive powder is chemically related to the dental anesthetic Novocaine? Cocaine. That is correct for 20 points, bringing your total to 100 against North Rises 20. Julia's choice of category, please. More chemistry, please. It is. Which F word describes visible light emitted by a substance when exposed to ultraviolet radiation? North Rise. Fluorescent. It's correct for 20 bonus points. Which P is light slowly re-emitted by a substance after exposure to light, such as by glow-in-the-dark items? Phosphorus. It's correct for 20 points. End of round one. <laughs> the score stands at North Rise University, Zambia, 50, and the Catholic University of Eastern Africa, 100. Now, whenever a team makes its first appearance on the Zane Africa Challenge, we think our viewers right across the continent should find out something about its university. So here's a profile of the Catholic University of Eastern Africa, Kenya. Located in Kenya, Catholic University of Eastern Africa, or Kwea, was established in 1984, commencing as a graduate school of theology and later accredited to a full-fledged university offering faculties in theology, arts and social sciences, commerce, science, education, law and social justice ethics. I love the fact that it's a very close-knit environment, the fact that the faculty are very open. Catholic University's vision is that the university is an instrument of liberation and transformation of peoples in their social, cultural, political, economic and religious dimensions. Since it's an Eastern Africa school, we have guys from other countries and therefore get to meet them and get to know about their cultures. Catholic University of East Africa prides itself as an academic agent for creating knowledge and producing graduates who are competent leaders for the church and society. Catholic University is the fullest experience that you can ever experience. Those were the scenes from the campus of the Catholic University of Eastern Africa, Kenya. Onwards, onwards, round two. The score stands at 50 for North Rise against 100 for Catholic University. We have two new face-off players in centre position. From North Rise, we have Kanyanta. Kanyanta. Tradition. Well, about my Zambian tradition, we have this beautiful ceremony where the chief and uh, his people of the Western province move from the lowlands to the highlands to avoid flooding. And they do this in this, these really spectacular boats, and there's lots of singing, drumming. There's a big boat that they call the um, Nalikwanda. It's really beautiful. You should come and see it. Well, I'm glad that you're not carrying an axe in this particular <laughs> ceremony. And from the Catholic University, we have Peter. Peter, your title is Mr. Good Samaritan. Thank you, John. Um, not quite. But I once did run traffic at home, 
I was seated in the house. There was an accident on a main road on the highway. And I figured that everyone was leaving work at 5 o'clock, so they'd be a bit late. So I'd better go down for that one hour and at least try and ease traffic. So I did that. Um, everyone assumed I was a traffic policeman. But it all worked out quite well in the end. Right. OK. Have a look at our four new categories. And they are economics, land borders of Africa, put it on paper within the solar system. Kanyanta, North Rise University is behind with 50 points against Catholic universities, 100. Choose a category, please. Within the solar system? Solar system it is. Which planet closest to the sun is also the smallest? Catholic University? Mercury. Is correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. The ancient Greeks named Mercury one after which god pulling Helios, the sun, across the sky? Saturn. No, Apollo. Two, after which messenger god, Mercury's Greek equivalent? Aries. No, the correct answer is Hermes. Peter, choice of Economics. category, please. It is. Demand, cost, supply. Which is the amount of a good which produces a willing and able to sell at a given price? North Rise? Supply. Is correct. For 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. One, which cocoa producing nation is Africa's largest grower of robusta coffee? Uh, Ghana? No, the correct answer is Cote d'Ivoire. Two, which nation is Africa's largest overall coffee grower? Uh, Ethiopia? Ethiopia is correct for 10 points, giving you a total of 70 against 110 for Catholic University. Kanyanta, choice of category, please. Solar system. Solar system it is. Which largest planet in the solar system has a moon named Callisto? North Rise? Um, Jupiter. Is correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. Of the four largest moons of Jupiter, one, which has a two-letter name beginning with I? Ed. No, the correct answer is Io. Two, which is also a Spanish name for a continent? Continenta. <laughs> well guessed, but the correct answer is Europa. Kanyanta, choice of category, please. The solar system. Solar system it is. The Oort cloud is thought to be the source of which occasional orbiting objects with spectacular tails? Catholic University. Comets. Is correct for 20 bonus points. Which feature of a blustery day also names the stream of charged particles from the sun that gives comets their tails? Dust. 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 No, the correct answer is winds. Peter, choice of category, please. Economics. Economics it is. Which term is used for an economic decline more severe than a recession? North Rise? Um, depression. Yes. That flash of lightning says that you have the Zane super bonus question of the day for 30 points rather than the usual 20. Kanyanta, it's in a special category which today is birds. Please take a look at your screen. Which of these birds is one, a crested crane? Um, no. A? Yes. Two, a sacred ibis. C? No, the correct answer is B. And three, a secretary bird. Secretary bird is D. Yes. Two out of three for 20 points, bringing you a total of 110 against Catholic University's 120. Ten points in it now. Kanyanta, choice of category, please. Economics. It is. In economics, which P is the financial initiative or motive for producing goods and services? North Rise? Production. No, I'm turning it over to Catholic University. Profit. It's correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. Gross, windfall, normal. Which type of profit? One, occurs due to an external event, not through company action. Windfall. It's correct. And two, is sales minus direct costs only. Gross. It's correct. 20 points. End of round two. It's still very much a close run thing. The score stands at 110 for North Rise University Zambia against 150 for the Catholic University of Eastern Africa, Kenya. And now, by way of international introduction, let's place the spotlight on North Rise University Zambia. Located in Ndola, Zambia, North Rise is a Christ centered university and began operations in January of 2004. Northrise University currently has two faculties, 
Business, which entails Bachelor of Business Administration, Bachelor of Business in Marketing, and Bachelor of Information Technology, and Theology, offering a Bachelor of Theology. I like the atmosphere. It's a really great place to study. We don't get um, a lot of distractions. It's, quite a, it's a quiet environment, very well controlled. The learning is good, the, the lectures are good, yeah, and it's just really nice there. North Rise University's mission statement is to sustain a Christ-centered university that transforms and equips men and women to serve in ministry and business, working in unison for the spiritual and economic health of Zambians. We're the eminent people of the future. Those were scenes from the campus of North Rise University, Zambia, this is the moment to acknowledge our educational partners, the ministries of education in the competing countries, and all the participating universities themselves. Thank you very much for your support. <laughs> onwards, onwards, round three. The score stands at 110 for North Rise University, against 150 for Catholic University. In the center positions, we now have Mohammed for the Catholic University of Eastern Africa. I think I'm right in calling you Mr. Male Model. Rightly so, John. I took up modeling like uh, two years ago. Uh, I started out by going for Mr. Catholic University the year before he did. And uh, I took it up professionally. Since then, I've done some few ads back home. Yeah. May you make millions without having to think. Thank you, sure. <laughs> Nyamachai from North Rise University. I know that you can sing beautifully because I've heard you earlier on when you weren't looking. <laughs> Prove me right. Okay. Just show me a way to live my life again. You can't handle me. See, I'm out of love. Can't you see? Baby, you gotta set me free. I'm out of love. The next step is idols. <laughs> No, the next step is choosing a category. <laughs> Let's have a look at our four new categories. And they are of interest in Africa, under the sea, where am I? Words ending in I and E. Nyamachai, choice of category, please. Under the sea. Under the sea it is. Which great structure is located on the ocean floor of the coast of northeast Australia? Catholic University? The Great Barrier Reef. Is correct for 20 bonus points. The Great Barrier Reef is in which sea named after the marine organisms that compose the reef? Coral. Is correct for 20 points, bringing you a total of 180. Mohammed, choice of category, please. Of interest in Africa. Of interest it is. DRC, Guinea, Zambia. According to Freedom House, which increased in political freedom in 2008? <laughs> North Rise? Uh, DRC. No. I'm turning it over to the Catholic University of Eastern Africa. Zambia. Zambia is correct for 20 bonus points. 10 points apiece. Lesotho, Morocco, Swaziland. Which African monarchy won received the highest ranking free? Lesotho. Is correct. Two received the lowest ranking not free. Swaziland. Is correct for 20 points. Bringing your total to 210. Mohammed, choice of category, please. Where am I? It is. Bujumbura, Addis Abeba, N'Djamena. Which African capital am I in if its Amharic name means new flower? Catholic University. Addis Ababa. Is correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. Addis Ababa's only railway runs to which port city? Port Elizabeth. Djibouti. Uh, port Elizabeth. The correct answer is Djibouti. Which tree favored by koalas was imported into Addis Ababa? Bamboo? No, the correct answer is eucalyptus. Mohammed, choice of category, Of please. interest in Africa, please. Of interest it is. In January 2009, which nation cancelled 60% of remaining timber contracts to preserve the continent's largest tropical forest? Catholic University? Uh, Gabon? No, I'm turning it over to North Rise. 
Yes, he is correct for 20 bonus points. Akan Songai Yoruba, the Aduni Olorisa who died in 2009, was a priestess of Obatala and religious leader of which West African people? Yoruba is correct for 20 points, bringing your total to 140 against Catholic University's 220. Nyamachai, choice of category, please. Words ending in I and E. It is. Which two-syllable word ending in I and E is an inoculation to prevent a disease? Catholic University. A vaccine. Is correct for 20 bonus points. Five points apiece and a five-point bonus for all three. Ovine, Pisine, Porcine, Vulpine. One. Which word refers to swine? Porcine. Porcine. Is correct. Two. Which refers to sheep? Ovine. Ovine. Yes. Three. Which refers to fish? Pisine. Yes, 20 points, bringing your total to 250. Mohammed, choice of category, please. Where am I? Where am I? It is Accra, Kotonou, Mogadishu. In which African capital am I if its name is from the Akan word for ants? North right. Mogadishu. No, I'm turning it over to Catholic University. Kotonou. No, the correct answer is Accra. End of round three. The score now stands at 140 for North Rise University against 250 for Catholic University of Eastern Africa. We'll be back to play the ultimate challenge when either team has its last chance to win. But first, here's your chance to play and win the Zane game. This SMS game is open to Zane customers only. The first correct player wins a Zane USB data card with 1,000 Naira airtime. The second correct player wins a 4GB iPod. The third correct player wins a 2GB iPod. The fourth and fifth correct players win vouchers for Zane airtime worth 3,000 Naira. The question for today is, which Nigerian artist's albums include Face to Face and The Unstoppable? Is it A. Fela, B. Asha, or C, Two-Face Idibia. SMS your answer to 33971. Choose A for Fela, B, Asha, or C, Two-Face Idibia. SMS your answer to 33971. Winners will be called and advised on how to collect their prizes. Happy playing, everybody. Now for the ultimate challenge. One last chance for each of the teams to win. You've got 60 seconds to answer 10 questions as a team in the category of your choice. Speed is of the essence. You can answer or pass on any question. Every correct answer is worth 50 points. If you answer all 10 correctly, each of you will win an extra 500 US dollars in cash. The score stands at 140 for North Rise University, Zambia, against 250 for Catholic University of Eastern Africa, Kenya. It's still anyone's game because the ultimate challenge is worth 500 points. North Rise University, you're behind, so you play first. Remember, the ultimate challenge is the ultimate choice. Have a look at our four final categories, and they are years ending in three. Words ending in O-N, in the red, museums and memorials. Which is it to be? Words ending in O-N. Words ending in O-N. Take a very deep breath. Identify the six-letter words ending in O-N, and seconds away, a penitentiary Prison. or jail. Yes? In the movies, this Benjamin was a curious case. Pass. Military unit of the Roman army. Battalion. No. With Crick, he discovered DNA structure. Batten. No. A short moving cylinder in an auto engine. Piston. Yes. Technical language of a specialized field. Jargon. Yes. An area of shallow water connected to the sea. Pass. The author of Paradise Lost. Pass. Tissue connecting muscles Tendon. to... Yes. A textile crop harvested from seed pods. What's on? Yes. In movies, this Benjamin was a curious case. Pass. Military unit of the Roman army. Garrison. 
No. With Crick, he co-discovered DNA structure. Pass. An area of shallow water connected to the sea. Pass. The author of Paradise Lost. Time's up. You answered five questions correctly, giving you 250 points and a total of 390. Let's see the ones you got wrong. Movie, The Curious Case of Benjamin Button. Military Unit, Legion. DNA Structure, Watson. Area, Lagoon. And finally, author, John Milton. Catholic University, at this point you have 250 points. You're 140 behind, and therefore you need three, three, three correct answers in order to win. What's it to be of the three remaining categories? Years ending in three. Years ending in three. Take a very deep breath. Since 1900, which year ending in three was when, seconds away, the Fulani led Sokoto Caliphate fell to the British? 1913. No. The first man climbed 1953. Yes. Burundi's president Adair was 1993. Assisted. Yes. The first Tour de France bicycle. 1973. Race. No. The Yom Kippur Arab Israeli. 1973. Yes. Turkey moved its capital to Ankara from Constantinople. 1983. No. General Bozizé seized 1973. Power. No. Kip Kaina retired from international running. 1983. No. Sharia law instituted by Sudan's president Numeri. 53. No. Ghana's 14-year-old... 1993. No. 2000. The Fulani-led Sokoto Caliphate... 1903. Yes. The first Tour de France bicycle race 1923. was held. 1923. No. Turkey moved its capital to Ankara from... 1963. Cost. No. General Bozizé seized power. 1963. No. Kip Kaina retired from international... 1993. No. Sharia law instituted by Sudan's president... 1973. No. Ghana's 14... 2003. Yes. The first Tour de France bicycle race... 1913. Time's up. You answered five questions correctly, giving you 250 in all, and bringing your total to 500, and making the Catholic University of Eastern Africa the winner of today's Zane Africa Challenge. Let's look at the ones that you got wrong. The Tour de France, 1903. Ankara, 1923. General Bozizé, 2003. Kip Kaino, 1973. And finally, Sudan Sharia Law, 1983. North Rise University, we've had lots of fun up until now. I've learnt about your traditions, and I'm going to take up singing lessons myself. But for the time being, we have to say goodbye to you. You'll be taking away 500 US dollars each, plus 5,000 dollars as an institutional grant for your university. The Catholic University of Eastern Africa, Hongera, Pongesi, well done, well won. We look forward to seeing you in another round. You're still in the running to take away the prestigious Zane Scholars Trophy and as outright winners, 5,000 US dollars each and 50,000 US dollars for your university, all courtesy of Zane. In our next game, the University of Sierra Leone takes on Uganda Martyrs University in the international inter-university battle of brains that is the Zane Africa Challenge. Do join us again from all of us here. It's bye-bye till next time. <laughs>